Today's video is brought to us by ButcherBox. More on them later. I'm sharing four easy and delicious air fryer recipes for you in today's video. Hello everyone, Jennifer L. Scott here and welcome to The Daily Connoisseur. So the theme for today's What's For Dinner video is the air fryer. I know a lot of you have an air fryer or maybe you're curious about it and want to know how it works and if it's even worth it. So today I'm going to share four really easy recipes for you that are super delicious. All the meat that I'm cooking with today is from the butcher box and I'll share more about them with you later in the video. So today I am making coconut shrimp with apricot cider dipping sauce, ground beef taco pasties, apricot glazed salmon, and a creamy sea scallop pasta. Let's jump right in. Let's start off with the coconut shrimp. I'm making about a pound, which was what came in the butcher box in each package, but you could do a half pound to a pound depending on how many people you're serving. Each air fryer will hold up to half a pound, and so if you do a pound like I did, you'll have to do this in two batches. But I start off by preparing the dredging, which is going to be in three shallow bowls. The first bowl has some flour in it, the second bowl has egg whites, salt and pepper. And the third bowl has shredded sweetened coconut and panko breadcrumbs. So you're going to take your shrimp and first dredge it in the flour, then dip it in the egg white, and then coat it with the coconut and panko breadcrumbs, and press it down to make sure that that coating adheres to each shrimp. Once you do that for all of the shrimp, you're going to prepare your air fryer. Now it depends on which air fryer you have. I have one that has a shrimp setting. You can see the little shrimp right there. <laughs> and you can just press that setting and your shrimp should cook. Halfway through, it will tell you to shake the basket. That's when you would not shake the basket, but flip the shrimp over at that point so it could be fully cooked. If you don't have a shrimp setting on your air fryer, you could preheat your air fryer to about 370 degrees and cook them for around four minutes on each side. And now you're going to prepare your dipping sauce. I use apricot preserves here. You're going to see that I use this with salmon down the line too, but it pairs really well with seafood. So apricot preserves with a bit of apple cider vinegar and some red pepper flakes for heat. And that's it, you just mix this all together and it makes a wonderful dipping sauce. So once you've cooked your shrimp thoroughly on each side and they're ready to go, it's ready and that's it, it's so easy. So you could serve this as an appetizer with just the shrimp and the dipping sauce like I'm showing here, or of course you could have this for dinner too. You would need to pair it with some sides. So today I paired it with some brown rice and some sauteed mixed vegetables. And everyone in our family loves coconut shrimp. It's delicious and this whole thing went immediately. So I made a whole pound, so I had to do everything in two batches. But the nice thing is that it cooks up really quickly and it's not deep fried like the coconut shrimp we probably like at restaurants. So it's air fried, so it feels a lot healthier. Next, I'm going to make taco pasties. So this is a play on Cornish pasties. If you go to the UK, they're really delicious. They're kind of like a pocket of pastry filled with a meat, a savory one. So we're going to be doing that right now. And in my skillet, I am cooking up one pound of ground beef with some onion, and I just saute all that until the beef is fully cooked in some olive oil. And then I drain off the fat and I add some taco seasoning. So you would prepare this just as if you were preparing taco meat for tacos. 
Now for the pastry, which is very easy because I'm using refrigerated biscuits and you can find these in almost every grocery store. So this recipe can make up to eight pasties. And so right now I'm just showing you the first batch, but you're going to take your biscuits and flatten them out so that they're a bit larger than they are when they come out of the tin. So I flatten all eight. I'm flattening the bottoms and the tops right now. Then I put my taco meat in the middle of each pastry. Now, when I was filming this, you don't hear this because the sound is off, but I had like four people talking to me at the same time and the TV was on and I was... <laughs> I'm trying to film dinner, cook dinner and film it. So I was really distracted and I forgot to put the cheese on. So you'll see this, I put the meat on and then I put the tops of the biscuits on. Okay, so that's what you do. And then you press them together. After I did that, I realized that I forgot the cheese. So then I panicked and I lifted up each lid and I put the cheese on. So don't do that, don't make my mistake, but put your meat mixture on and then the cheese on top and then cover it with another biscuit. And you can press the sides together with a fork or I actually found it was better to squeeze with your thumbs. Now I preheated the air fryer to 350 degrees and I cooked these for about 20 minutes. They were fine. I felt that they were a bit too well done. Ben thought they were perfect because he likes things really well done, but I think I would change that to about 15 minutes. But after all the trouble of forgetting the cheese and slightly overcooking them, they were delicious and everybody absolutely loved them. This is what they look like. They were very hearty and filling and it was nice to have something other than a taco. You know, I'm always trying to find taco alternatives. And we just served this with a salad and they were good. I'm going to break away for one minute to tell you about ButcherBox who have kindly brought us today's video. So ButcherBox sources from farmers and fishermen who meet the highest standards for quality. You choose your box and delivery frequency. They offer five boxes, four curated box options, as well as the popular custom box, which is what I got. ButcherBox ships your order frozen at the peak of freshness and packed in an eco-friendly 100% recyclable box. And you can enjoy high quality meat delivered to your door and more time for amazing meals with your family. So in my box this month, I received wild caught Alaska sockeye salmon, ribeye steaks, applewood smoked uncured bacon, wild caught raw gulf shrimp, wild caught sea scallops, and organic free range chicken tenders. New butcher box members will receive a raw wild caught US gulf shrimp in every box for one year. This is the first time butcher box is offering shrimp like this. So click on my link below. And if that offer is no longer going, when you do that, they're always running special offers. So thank you so much to butcher box for bringing us today's video. Okay, next I'm going to make apricot glazed salmon. I'm only using two fillets because that's all we needed for today. Uh, but you could do up to four in the air fryer and then if you need to make more, you would just have to do a second batch. Okay, let's start off with the glaze, which is made with the apricot preserves that I used for the coconut shrimp. And then I'm also putting in some soy sauce and some ground garlic which gives it a really nice flavor. I don't really measure it, but I will try to leave proper measurements for you in my recipe down below. And then you're going to cover the salmon in this glaze. It's so delicious. I love cooking fish this way. Then you're going to open up your air fryer and make sure that you spray the inside with cooking spray so your fish doesn't stick. You're going to put it skin side down and then I just press the fish setting and that pretty much cooks it beautifully. If you don't have a fish setting on your air fryer, I believe it's about 350 degrees for around eight minutes and the fish comes out perfectly. It's really moist. The glaze is perfectly caramelized on top of the fish. It's amazing. So. This is how I like to cook it. 
and I am serving it here with some sauteed vegetables. We've got Brussels sprouts, tomato, mushroom in there. And then with the excess glaze, I heated it up on the stove and then I poured it on top of the fish and I topped that with some chopped scallions. And this makes for a really delicious meal. The fish is perfect and the glaze is so sweet and savory, it's, it's really good. Finally, I'm going to show you how easy it is to cook scallops in the air fryer. This is perfect for people who are intimidated by scallops or who don't want to get messy by frying them on the stove. So you're going to prepare your scallops by patting them with paper towels to get all the moisture out of them. And then onto my scallops, I am shaking some paprika and some lemon pepper seasoning salt. If you have lemon pepper without salt in it, then you're going to want to put a little bit of salt on it separately. I have preheated my air fryer to 400 degrees and I spray the inside of the air fryer with cooking spray and I put my scallops on. You're going to put the scallops in there for six minutes and you're going to flip them halfway through. So usually if you do that at 400 degrees for six minutes, halfway through the air fryer will tell you to shake the basket. And so that's when you open it up and flip the scallops and push it back in and then it continues to cook the scallops and they're perfectly cooked this way. So I love serving my scallops with a creamy pasta and I always just improvise with this sauce, but it's just the easiest thing ever. So I cook angel hair on the stove and then I drain it once it's fully cooked. And to that, I add chopped parsley from the garden in abundance. And then I add lots of lemon juice, some heavy cream, and also melted butter. I forgot to tell you that was the first thing I added to this. So butter, lemon juice, parsley, heavy cream, and there you have the perfect sauce for your uh, pasta. And of course I sprinkle that with salt and pepper. So I add that onto my plate along with the air fryer scallops. And this is it, it's really delicious. Again, my children love this, and typically you think scallops are a very sophisticated food that not everyone would love, but they taste so good, especially with this seasoning combination. Also, serving it with pasta like this is a great way for the scallops to really stretch and feed more people because the pasta is very filling. So there you are. I hope you enjoyed my air fryer themed what's for dinner video. If you would like to see more air fryer recipes, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much to ButcherBox for bringing us today's video. Don't forget to click on my link below and you can receive the raw wild caught US Gulf shrimp in every box for one whole year. And if that offer is no longer going, they always have other special offers. So click on my link below. Thank you so much for watching today's What's For Dinner video. Keep calm and remain classy, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.